Hey guys, Tammy Treyer, Mountain Woman Journals and Treyer Wilderness. Our second sunny day. It's a blessing. It's been raining here for about the last two and a half weeks and it's been torrential downpour, so it has been absolutely no fun. Um, this is fun. Uh, we came out for a hike. The whole family's out here and we're enjoying the day and uh, practicing our fire starting skills and just enjoying the sunshine. Um, I also wanted to take the time to show you my new uh, Genesis knife from LT Wright Knives. Uh, thanks again LT and Mike Henninger, really appreciate this. This is a really sweet knife and uh, Jamie, you you made that knife look really really nice in your videos but wow to put that baby in your hand it is a nice nice knife so I'm real excited about that and um, also uh, using my uh, new Possibles bag that the Mountain Man made me really nice bag also I'm very blessed um, I'm going to spin this camera around and show you what the guys are up to. There's, there's the mountain man feeding the fire. He started his fire today with solar ignition and uh, the mountain boy who's getting smoked out over there. <laughs> and the girl. Um, Austin started his fire today with the multi-flame tool and I used the multi-flame mini tool that is in my uh, holster that uh, LT and Mike made for me for my knife, which is absolutely sweet. I really like having that in there. It made it really easy to uh, do my fire and uh, get the char out of uh, the tip of my uh, fire piston. So, um, really nice. Um, so, this is what we're up to today. As you can see, it is just a beautiful day, and uh, we're really uh, enjoying being out here. So, I'm going to. Um, spin around again and show you my knife and I'll uh, show you that in action so hang tight this is a holster that LT Wright and Mike Henninger made for me um, this is holding our multi flame mini tool which is in there really nice and secure um, makes it really nice to carry it, pack it and utilize it and then um, I also have my Genesis knife which is just really an impressive heavy duty knife. Really, really liking that, really liking the holster. So, I'm going to uh, show you. I gathered some fat wood and I was messing around with it. I want to show you how nice it uh, shaves the uh, the fat wood. You want to show them? You mind <laughs> videoing some more for me? If I, I have suckered to. him. I suckered him in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't even need to put a whole lot of pressure on here and it just shaves this fat wood and this is a really nice piece of fat wood we are blessed with a lot of pines out here so you got the this is off of a fallen tree and I mean this is just it's this is awesome stuff for in your bird nest to um, start your fire it will ignite very fast but I mean look at this knife I mean this is really really nice knife um, really liking this and um, the guys haven't even used it yet. There's a reason for that. I'm not they, allowed. Yeah, well, and Mike, Mike Henninger asked me yesterday if I still had custody of my knife. <laughs> As of right now, anyway, I do. <laughs> for right now. Yeah. Like you I best said not you, turn your back. Like I said to you, mm -hmm. I have a gun, too, so... <laughs> Don't you go taking my knife. You better hit me on the first shot. <laughs> No, but look at how nice copper, get copper. Back. you're going to shave your nose. You're going to lose your nose. But there you go. I mean, you can see this. It's just a really, really nice knife. Nice. It really fits your hand well. Ladies, I like this. It's it's just a good hold, good solid knife and easy to hold. I have small hands and really like this. And I know Jamie Burley likes his too. So it's a, it's a nice knife. Um... I don't have do you, one. Do you want to try it? I don't have one, but <laughs> <laughs> I've held it. She Briefly. let she allowed me to hold it. <laughs> but it is a very nice knife. Very nice. But I mean this it's just smooth. I mean it's it's just really nice when you have a good sharp knife that you can work with out in the wild, one that's going to do the jobs you need it to do, and this is really, really nice. I also have um, the knife in my pack that the Mountain Man made me, which I will show you in a little bit, uh, as well as my Possibles bag. So, um, again, thanks LT and thanks Mike. This is really a sweet knife. Um, look forward to putting this to some more use, but this was my first day out with it because of all the rain, so... Thank you. This thing is awesome. <laughs> Don't turn your back. <laughs> okay.
Okay, guys. He's holding the knife. He's only got five minutes. That's all I'm allotting. Oh. <laughs> He's going to show you using the... Uh... Um, way that you can uh, kind of save your edge, your cutting edge, is um, if you're doing stuff like this, is to scrape with the back edge of your, your knife. This is real hard, 90 degree spine. So uh, for like... Um, ferro rod and stuff like that but also scrape it so you don't have to use this part of your knife um, and ruin that nice sharp edge you can take back side and you can see how that just carves that fat yeah. wood right so with the blade right you get off. the the blade you get the um Shavings. You know, With that, you get like the meal. Yeah, if you're trying to just make shavings, you know. You don't even need a lot of pressure with that. I mean, no, it's amazing. It's, it's, nice you know, knife. But if you're, you know, scraping it, then you save your your blade. Yeah. Save your blade. Your time's just about up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you may lose it. <laughs> As you can tell, we have fun out here, so. A little tip. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll have to give it back now. <laughs> you don't have to. Yeah, but we'll we'll jump on and off here and show you some more stuff. But again, guys, thanks so much. Great knife, and you will be seeing a lot more of it. Um, we have a lot of things uh, planned for this spring and summer, and uh, we'll be out here in the wild as much as we can. I would like to stay out today. It's it's been a long time coming for the sunshine so we'll catch you in a bit okay guys there's the possibles bag that the mountain man made for me it is super nice really really like it um this is made from an elk hide that he brain tanned and uh he put an antler on here for the closure really like that and then he also he made me a knife, which I'll show you then. But this is it's just really nice. It's a nice size. It has all my um, day gear in there um, easily, and I still have extra room. Um, and my day gear would be the things that would get me through 36-plus hours easy. Um, but it's what I carry every time we're out in the woods. So um, I also want to show you this. Um, these are our absolute favorite guns beyond our pistols. Um, that is a Rossi trifecta and um, this particular one came with a 22, a 20, and a 243 barrel. Um, the Mountain Boy and I have the same gun and uh, the Mountain Man has one that uh, was came with a 20 and the 22. Um, great guns, absolutely great guns. Interchangeable barrels, makes it sweet, hollow stock so you can um, store some of your survival gear in the actual stock of the gun. Uh, it's a child's gun, so it's easy to pull up. It's great for grouse hunting and just great to uh, be out in the woods with, lightweight. So that's something that we recommend. Good homestead and uh, prepper gun, if you will. So let me show you uh, the other thing the Mountain Man made. Can I say a quick tip on that? Oh, yeah, sure. These stocks here in the back are hollow. Take a screwdriver yeah, and unscrew those backs, pull that butt plate off, and that's hollow. You can take and put um, a ferro rod, a small knife, a little bit of bank line, and uh, maybe a wet, couple uh, wet fire cube or mini infernos or micro infernos in that pack here and put that back on. And if you're out and you have nothing else, um, Take that back off with your um, Leatherman or your Gerber or whatever you have. Or your multi-flame multi tool. Multi-flame tool, <laughs> whatever. And uh, pull that off. And you have fire, guaranteed fire in there. A small knife, some cordage, and stuff like that. I also, in mine, um, I have that stuff, but I also have a couple extra shells, a couple extra shotgun shells, and a couple extra um, 22 shells, just in case. And it goes, it doesn't make it that much heavier and carry it all over the place. Yeah, it's so. a sweet little gun. Really, really yeah, like that. Can I bug you to hold this a second? 
Well, I, I, I have your knife attached so I won't lose it in my pack and I just want to undo it so I can show them. Because this was my Christmas present and I don't want to lose it. So now I have two really nice knives. Okay. He made me the holster, which has my initials and the dragonfly on it. I love dragonflies. Dragonflies and hearts are my thing. But um, he made us each a knife for Christmas and um, it has our initials. My initials are on, oops, sorry, are on both sides. Nice little knife. Corded at the end. So it's just a really nice, very handy knife. A nice size, too. It's little. Um, so, you know, it ha it's useful for your small projects. It's got the um, tip on the blade is really nice to help get your um, char out of the fire pistons. It's nice when you have a knife that you can get in there real nice and easy and quickly get your... Uh, char out. So Austin has his too. Um, I saw you. Oh, you don't have yours today. You yeah, have your. I do. Yeah. You want to show yours? It's all his own. I thought you, he's like well armed. Show his hips there. That's pretty funny. He's <laughs> he's a walking knife factory. <laughs> <laughs> he likes knives. <laughs> yes. You haven't figured weapons. out. All right. Where's your knife where's at? Where's your knife that your papa made you? Right in the middle. There you go. Hold that up so, so they can see. There you go. Has initials on it and knife, so. The T looks like a J. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's fancy, that's why. So, mm. we're all about homemade gifts and, and just using our craftsmanship on varying things. Um, working with leather all the time and just learning new things. I actually made this. I don't know if you can see that. That's my first stab at uh, antler art. As I said, she did a good job on it. I like hearts, so that it's really cool. You can do so much with everything out here. Um, there's knots on the tree that I want to take off and uh, utilize those in making jewelry and different things too. So, you know, it's endless. There's so much you can do out here. So get out and enjoy it. And thanks for joining us today. And there'll be many more videos to come. So, you guys take care and God bless. God bless. <laughs>